gun crazy. DOD wants to use seed planting bullets for military training. In such a mixed up world, it's important for America to make sure its enemies know not to test their might. That being said, might there still be a way to strive for peace while maintaining the appearance of strength? Maybe! The Department of Defense is issuing a call to contractors to develop biodegradable bullets for military training exercises. The US Army runs through thousands upon thousands of rounds of ammunition every year, but the bullets currently used take hundreds of years to break down, while also corroding and polluting the planet's soil and water. The DoD's new proposal would see specialized seeds encased in the bullet, designed to grow plants that eliminate ammunition debris and contaminants. The seeds would begin to sprout long after landing in the ground, and would eventually become a source of food for animals too. At least that's the hope. So if you find yourself moping over the incoming administration's stance on climate change, just remember that when it comes to our Earth, there are some people out there who really do care. The Department of Defense. So quit crying, and instead, stop and smell the roses. Want more green tech developments? Well, look no further. Rain or shine, future solar panels may be able to generate power. Scientists in China are producing solar panels that can produce energy from the last source you'd expect when we're talking about solar energy, rainwater. In a typical solar panel, photons from a light source knock electrons free from atoms within the panel, and the action generates a flow of electricity. Although solar power technology has been getting increasingly efficient, there's still the tiny problem that solar cells can't produce any power when it's raining. Researchers are introducing a new type of solar panel by adding a layer of graphene or carbon atoms arranged in a honeycomb structure to dye sensitized solar cells. A flexible layer of indium tin oxide and plastic is included underneath. Graphene has unusual properties that allow electrons to move freely throughout the entire layer. Rainwater contains positively charged ions like ammonium, calcium, and sodium. When water binds to the panel surface, a double layer of positive ions and negatively charged electrons is created, which ends up producing a voltage and current. Tests of the new solar panels have been able to produce hundreds of microvolts, which is small even compared to a standard AA battery. So there's a long way to go before the new solar panels become more widely used, but more efficient future versions could mean big things for the solar industry. France to install 600 miles of solar roads within five years. The French Minister of Ecology and Energy, Sangoline Royale, is pushing forward with plans to install solar roads across the country. The solar roads will be built by gluing solar panel tiles onto road surfaces. The tiles are seven millimeters thick, with a thin film of polycrystalline silicon to collect solar energy. The tiles will be applied to 600 miles of already existing roads in France. The solar panels are built to withstand the forces generated by all types of vehicles, including trucks. The energy produced is expected to be able to power streetlights, homes, office buildings, and light rail. Once implemented, the solar roads could supply enough energy for an estimated 5 million citizens in France.